this is Sanvi from my book Sash. I am a 10 year old book enthusiast. I review children's educational books, classics, humorous and many other sorts of books. Today I am going to review another e-book which is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This is a spoiler free review so I won't be giving away any secrets. So let's get started. This book has an impressive cover page showing a huge moon, a girl in a cloak, a tiny dragon and many origami birds. It's indeed beautiful. I got this Kindle edition online. Now you will wonder what this unusual title means. This beautiful tale is about a girl named Luna, the main character of the book, who who drinks the moon. It takes place in the period of magic which is princesses, monsters, dragons, etc. The story starts in a town called the Protectorate. Every year, the people of this town leave a baby as an offering to the witch who lives in the forest. They hope the sacrifice will keep her from terrorizing the town. But in reality, the witch, Xan, is kind and gentle. She lives with a monster named Glork and a tiny dragon named Firian. The witch has no idea why the people are leaving their babies in the forest. Xan, the witch, rescues these babies and feeds them the starlight. Then she transports these babies to the free cities. One year, Xan accidentally feeds a baby moonlight instead of starlight, filling the child with magic. Xan knows that people in the free cities will not know how to raise an enmagic child. Xan must raise the girl whom she calls Luna as her own. To keep her safe from her magic, she buries Luna's magic deep inside her. When Luna approaches her 13th birthday, Luna's magic starts to come out. (coughs) Meanwhile, a man from the protectorate decides to kill the witch for the benefit of the people. If you want to know what happens next, read the book. What I like about the book is the story itself. It is about people's beliefs and the reality. The witch was completely misunderstood by the people of the protectorate over many generations. In reality, the witch is very kind and helpful. She doesn't abandon the children left in the forest. In fact, she takes care of them and delivers them to the free city for a better life. The plot is very interesting and all the characters are very well explained, especially Xan and Luna. Certain fictional characters have unique qualities. For example, the sorrow eater brings sorrow to others and then eats that sorrow. The story starts out gloomy and slows down a bit after Luna grows up. But it didn't bother me much. I kept on reading to find out more. What I found challenging about this book is that I had some difficulty understanding a few words such as plumes, akimbo, galump, etc. However, in Kindle books, it gives meanings of all these words. So it helped me a lot. The writing is very formal and there is a lot of storytelling. The last thing I would like to mention is about the titles of all the chapters. Each chapter has a peculiar title which hooked me up and each of each title starts with in which. I don't understand why. If you can figure it out, please comment below. Anyways, I give this book 4.5 stars for its storyline. I recommend this book for 11 years and above. That's all for today friends. Stay tuned to my channel for more reviews on fictional and non-fictional books. Please do subscribe to my channel if you like my review. See you later. Until then, goodbye.